hi today we're going to see how to customize the labels uh, it's dynamically generated labels uh, so here uh, before I going to show you so here I have my uh, login uh, view so uh, login view is completely strongly typed I'm using the model called a login view model so that login view model helps us to bind the data dynamically so so uh, to bind the data dynamically uh, you can uh, generate a model that model uh, you can pause the data and you can uh, post the model so that is what the MEC normally works so if you are uh, trying with the MEC application yes what I am trying to tell you you will understand so here I have a, a requirement so I build the, um, my complete um, set of functionality means uh, my complete view uh, in a uh, strongly typed so even uh, I want to display the label like this so email and the text box and the password so even email also I just build with a strongly typed if you see here a label uh, login view model that is uh, actually uh, the view model uh, login view model so here I used uh, the model called index uh, view yes uh, index model view so index model view normally what's contained Uh, contain uh, two set of property one is uh, uh, the type of uh, login view model and one is register because what uh, why I try to, to use uh, is uh, to build a login registration is same that's what my requirement but actually uh, my uh, login view is uh, built up with this so I am using the uh, instance uh, login model and the email so here uh, I uh, mentioned that label name and the text box and the validation for the particular things so this uh, everything will uh, commonly handled if you try to do with strongly typed so if you um, pass uh, some values or uh, you want to <coughs> do some operation with the uh, email so you can use in a different fashions so you want to display or you want to act like a text box uh, otherwise it should be act like a drop down or whatever so you can use the single property and uh, you can utilize that so that is what what the MEC is uh, providing us so if you add it as a text box yes in the post method this will mm, consider as a one value and it will post inside label for a label if you use yes label commonly to help us to display so no need to post the data so main priority here is the text box for and validation if any kind of validation that associate with the text box that email it will throws so so this is completely MEC structure if you not uh, clear about MEC please go through the MEC complete tutorial N not only my session uh, even Microsoft provide a complete good session so you can go through all the basics he here I want to mm, show you something interesting that say I want to mm, rename um, this particular names see this is remember me why it is coming so this is my model this is the name so that name actually I, I uh, added uh, my uh, property so remember me but uh, so normally in a display for the label I I don't want uh, to be uh, remember me looks like this I want something like remem remember space me and the question mark if you, you want to remember just click that so uh, instead of uh, uh, telling that so on display if I uh, use this remember me as a display uh, I want to d uh, display uh, like this so that is what all about so how to uh, do that yes we can have the option even MEC providers so here we are using normally the attribute one is record record field helps us to mm, validate it must be there data must be there in that input field so and the data type you can define so data type if you set as password it is works like a password and the email address yes the it validate whether whatever the posting data it should be a email address so that is what so now how to change my Mm, uh, remember me text so here we have the attribute that uh, from the data annotations so that helps us to so determine uh, how you can utilize that so here you have the attribute called display okay so display in the bracket you can mention the display name name equal to remember me and the question mark and save it and build a now ok 
page success again go and refresh your page so now uh, it will uh, take the display attribute so it will check the attribute yes we, we have overridden override the, the name uh, which default text from the property so it will uh, going to um, display my name which I given as a customized stuffs yes so you able to see now remember space me and the question mark so this is the way you can customize all the uh, properties so on display time you you, uh, you please display like this so this will helps us to mm, you no need to go on to, um, just to remove this and you can hot code some value instead of that you can go on to use it this model you can use in lot of views and you can get the utilize it hopes you understand thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries please comment us please subscribe our channel to get a more updates